Yo, what's going on guys? It has been a pretty long time since I last made a video. I'm sorry for not uploading in the past few weeks, okay? <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. But uh, yeah, through this long hiatus, uh, I have actually been through some experiences and I am back to share them with you guys. As you can see from the title, this video is going to be about my addiction my gaming addiction not so much gaming it was just one game okay so as many of you know i made the video called addicted to ml right and i i actually made that video as a joke okay i actually made that video because you know i think that it's funny i i had an idea i was like hey what if you know this person was really addicted to ml how would you know okay ml is mobile legends okay how would their life be? How 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 could I take it to the furthest extent and make it funny but still relatable for all ML players? Okay. Little did I know, <laughs> little did I know that me making this video would actually lead me to be legitimately addicted to this game. Listen, I know there are many of you out there who love the game. I'm not saying don't play the game. Okay. If you guys out there, you guys are enjoying the game. You guys are finding the right balance. Y'all find that you know y'all really love playing this game go ahead and play this game. I'm not here to say no, don't play. I'm just here to share my experience. Okay, so it all started uh, a few months back, I think last year, when I first got introduced to this game and I got a little bit better, a little bit better. I'm not saying that I'm amazing, but you know, I learned to play a little bit better. By the time I was ready to make the video, I kind of already had what it's like to be, you know, always playing the game because I was literally on that game every single day and not just every single day, it was literally almost every single hour. ML was the only thing that I could think about. It sounds very kotsang, okay, it sounds very exaggerated, but literally at my worst point, it consumed me, okay, ML legit consumed me. Uh, when I was eating, I was thinking about ML. When I was bathing, I was thinking, oh, you know what? I want to rank, I want to get some stars, I want to I need to push my win rate on this character, this hero and everything. Sleeping, I would dream of ML. When I'm doing other work, I will only be thinking, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. It got so bad to a point that even when I go out with my girlfriend, right, Sherry, right, as we are going out, right, if you're on a bus or if you're on a train, I literally pop out my phone and I didn't want to risk my stars, right, in case I'm on the train and the connection not go or what. So I also didn't want to risk my win rate, so I didn't play rank, I didn't play classic i will play custom by myself so i go into the custom i put 5 ai 5 ai i go in and i just, I just go and play some random heroes go train some hero and, I, and at that point i really don't know why i was like i have to get for this this game is just so important to me when i'm walking on the streets with sherry right if she were to let's say go into some shop the shop she starts to brush or close and I'm immediately my phone pop i'm down the ml link right? and she got so pissed with me okay like okay she, she was very irritated she was like, ha, huh, ML again, ML again, ML again. Then she, I come back, she come back home, I'm down there already playing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on the bed already playing. It got to a point where it caused some serious friction between Sherry and I. Okay, this freaking game. I remember there was this one time where things got really bad and it was just chaotic because of this game, okay. I remember I was sitting there. I had just started a game because Sherry told me that our grab will be coming in about 20 minutes. So I thought, hey, 20 minutes, I can fit a 15 minute rank game into 20 minutes while we were waiting for the... For the grab. So I said, okay, I start the rank game as I'm matching up, as I'm choosing heroes, right? Suddenly she said, babe, the grab is here. I'm like, wait, no, what? I was like, I told her, I, it was so insane that I told her, babe, you cancel your grab. I want to play this game. But obviously, she did not want to cancel. I mean, it, my request was ridiculous, okay? We were not packed and ready to go over to, to, to Sherry's place, okay? So, and while I was matching up, I was like, oh my god, I grabbed my stuff, I just throw all the clothes, all the things that I need into my bag. And when when Jaden when, when Jaden knows that Sherry and I are going out, he gets super excited, okay? He gets super loud, he starts barking, he starts running around. Can you imagine the chaos, okay? I am rushing for a grab. Jaden is barking and rushing around I'm like rah, 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 rah. and I am I'm down there, I'm like, why I, I need to Pick my hero plus I need to stuff all the things inside my bag. So chaotic and I was so pissed. I was like, no, I don't want to be on a on a grab right now because little the connection not good like I can't focus and play and at, at that point of time I was playing my my favorite hero. I finally get everything ready. Sherry finally gets everything ready. I'm holding one one my, my phone in my hand. I need to carry Sherry's plastic bag of ingredients for her baking. So I literally am like, and I'm still playing, I'm like, I need to focus. I open my gate, the first thing that Jaden does is he runs out the door, okay? He doesn't do that, okay? He legitimately just runs out the door. I was like, Jaden, please stop, okay? Just, I don't want to play my game, okay? Just focus, just come back here right now. And he, no, he doesn't. He goes out, he's barking and barking and barking and barking. He refuses to come back. I said, Jaden, come back. I was like, holding the game. Come back, come in. He's the, yeah. I was like, 
lost. I'm, they was a mess. I was so pissed off. Jaden, get your ass back into the room, back into the house right now. I grab him, I throw him back. I didn't throw him back. I just like, bust the way in the heat. Like, holding all the stuff, we get into the lift. I stay high. So the lift journey is long. But everybody knows that when you're in the lift, the connection is not good. So at the start of the game, when welcome to Mobile Legends, then I hang down there. I, everybody move, I stay down there cause I, I lost connection. So I was like, wow, okay, GG. Now my, needless to say, we lost the game, okay? And we lost it super early because I, I felt like I didn't play my part, okay? Uh, so I was, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. I was like literally raging eh. And I really don't get angry easily. I, I'm quite a chill person. And for me to be raging and I just like, when the game ended, right? I put on my phone, I was so pissed off. I put on, I closed the game. I sit down there and then, then it all hit me, I was like, are you kidding me, Richard? You get angry with Jaden, you arguing with Sherry, you're causing so much problem, it's all because of this game. And it's just a game, okay? I mean, like, it's not like I'm earning money from the game, or it's not like I'm one of the super Thai players, like, just no limit or whoever's up there. And it's just because of one star, okay? And I, you can always earn stars back, right? And I was so pissed off, I was like, I caught myself and I was like, why am I doing this? This is not me, you know? This, this game has made me become a person that I'm not proud of. When I was playing the game, I was like, there are times where I got pissed off and it's like toxic and people score you, then you want to score back but you feel like you shouldn't score back and then when the people start trolling me, you get angry and then people AFK, then you like, Rargh! I know there are people out there who play this game like super calmly. Okay, they, they, that is one thing that they are tired about. They, I've seen some people, they play, they just like, lose, lose, they win, win. That is good. It's good. Okay, for me, at first I was like that, then stars started to mean a whole lot more to me. When I say stars, I mean for each rank game, right? For each rank game that you win, you win one star. So there are tiers to this game, okay? First you start off as warrior, then elite, then master, then grandmaster, then epic, then legend, then mythic. So in order to up one tier from let's say legend to mythic, is 25 stars or is it 26 stars? Okay, so you need to earn that stars, you need to win all the games, then you need to go and higher, higher. Then you have this like, Label, you know, I'm I'm a mythic player or whatever it is. So I, I was like, I want to rank up, I want to get my stars and everything, you know. I, I want to reach mythic as fast as possible, as soon as possible. This chase for stars, okay, this non-tangible thing, okay, caused me so much rage, caused me so much friction. Then I started to realize that, you know, this this game is really not that important. Uh, I, I I told myself I really wanted to stop playing this game. But, but I feel like I got so much connection with this game, like the friends that I made through the game and play together and everything. I want to quit, but I still want to play to... I, I don't... I really have no idea what was keeping me there. It legit felt like it was a real addiction. Like, literally, eat, sleep, everything is just about ML. So, I I, I, I was... I finally took it up to God. I said, God, Daddy God, you need to help me to quit this game, okay? This is a toxic game. I want to spend my time doing better things, doing more important things, rather than wasting all my time playing this game. I actually went to do a calculation right, based on the number of games that I played and the average time per game. Okay, if average time per game is 15 minutes, right? And I think I played about 2. Point, I can't remember, 2.8k games and it added up to me playing this game for one whole month 24-7. As in like, the total number of hours that I invested into this game would be one whole month. I know it's not a lot as compared to other people out there but I was thinking like, that's one whole month of my life that I'm not getting back because I'm, I'm, I'm literally playing this game. Not only just the time you spend the money to get the skins and Moonton is just like, they're getting smarter, they're making nicer skins and they're, 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 they're just charging more. And you you want this skin, yeah, I want the skin, I want the Helker skin, I, I want the Lancelot skin, I want the whatever skin you want there, you, I see what show I want to buy. Now, I, I, I really wasted quite some amount of money there. I mean, yeah, I mean, so like what I said, I took it up to God, I said, Daddy God, you really need to help me to quit this game. I, I, I really, that only you can help me right now. I, I had, don't have the self-control to stop, okay? I literally, I tell myself I'm gonna quit and the next hour I'm playing again. What actually helped me, okay, was it was funny. Maple Story M just got released recently. And there was this big hype about it. I mean, the hype is still there. So I was like, hey, I want to play Maple Story <laughs> instead of ML. So okay, you know what? I downloaded Maple Story. I started, as I started to play Maple Story, right? The connection to ML slowly started to fade away because I, I, I really felt like I was so angry. I was really so angry that I waste so much time playing this game, you know? And my feelings or ever started to fade, you know? The first time ever, right, I didn't, I didn't log into the game for like 5 days in a row. And that's like insane. Like, I, I would log in every hour back then. So then again, I started playing Paper Story. 
Okay, then you know, Maple Story got A Cash, right? The cash shop, right? Then I'm like, wow, hey, you know what? They wear the A Cash, I look my very nice. Huh? <laughs> Genius, you know, I tell you first. I was considering so long to use money to buy skins in that game, not say skins, but items. I considering for so long, I said, should I, should I, should I? Finally, I gave in. One night, I was playing and I was like, ah, it's just $13. Let me just spend it $13. I was like, what? Okay, never mind, I got it. I I went and decorated my character until very nice, really. Wow, sweet. I buy. My other thing, I was very satisfied with my purchase, okay? Then the next morning, I regret. <laughs> the next morning, I regret. Jaden, your belt is everywhere in my, in my video right now. Yeah, the next morning, I regretted. I was like, I shouldn't have spent that money. Why did I waste more money on a game that I just started and I, I, I don't know. Okay, but then that was the tipping point. Like, I honestly, I feel like God tell me that, you know, enough of this nonsense gaming. And I was put in a very good mood to just quit everything. At that very moment, while I was having breakfast, right, I I deleted ML and I deleted Maple. So now I am not playing any games at all. And look at the amount of time that I have freed for myself, honestly. Like, I can finally make videos again. Okay, back then, one of the major distractions from making videos was actually ML. But yeah, I mean, now uh, I, I feel like I have enough time to pick up more hobbies, spend more time to make videos again, to plan videos again. And uh, you know, I, I really feel like I have more time to spend time with God. And uh, I think through this journey, through the hiatus that I, I, I since I last made a video, my relationship and my faith in my God has, uh, has grown. And uh, in the videos to come, I would love to share some of my experiences with you. I mean, what's going on in my life, I would love to share with you guys. I guess that is the story about my legitimate ML addiction, okay? The previous video was a joke. This is the legit story of how I was. I got into this game so addicted and I finally broke free. <sighs> I mean, I, I, it, really does, it, really, it, it really does feel good for, for to not play the game and not to care about stars and anything about anymore. Thank you guys. If you guys made it to the end, I really appreciate you guys for listening to my story. There will be more videos like this coming out and uh, you know as you can tell uh, <coughs> I'm not it's Richie King anymore <laughs> okay it's Richie Zander uh, my Instagram has changed and I'm gonna change my Facebook right, right about now but I think you watch this video it should already be changed it already have changed so yeah I mean uh, there'll be a new direction for this channel and uh, I hope you guys like it I hope you guys look forward to seeing my videos and I am looking forward to making more content for you guys so if that's about it I don't know what new outro I have so I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace out. That's a super old outro.